I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back. All right, just going to do a quick video showing more false accusations from Rich Pankowski, the Warriors for Antichrist leader. He is a wicked false accuser. And just for the record, I'm not, you know, some kind of cult follower of Eric Love. I disagree with him on some doctrinal issues, you know, regarding the rapture and various stuff. Uh, but I do consider him saved. I do consider him a brother in Christ. And Pankowski has just been relentlessly attacking him and calling him a child predator, which is actually a criminal offense. It's defamation of character. I'm going to show the screenshots that I've taken. And I've also sent these screenshots to to Eric. So he knows that this wicked devil, Pankowski, is sending him or calling him a child predator. He, he's already aware of that. He's known that for quite a while. But going to show these screenshots. This is taken from Facebook. Um, and just keep in mind again, you know, calling someone a child predator without proof like that is a it is a criminal offense. It's Ill it's illegal. Not only is it sin because it's false accusation. It's actually illegal because it's, it's defamation. But here it says um, in this one screenshot I took. It says, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, beware, be aware. A child predator by the name of Eric Love lives in the area. You can attack me, but leave my daughter out of it. He says, you think it's okay to talk about some issues my daughter had years ago by giving your ears to a woman who admits she's a backbiter and pride ally? That makes Eric Love a child predator. Coming from a guy who actually made tons of Facebook posts trying to portray Eric as a sodomite. But meanwhile, Pankowski himself says, you know, oh, uh, I'll let you come on me right now and I'll sit back and, you know, all this other stuff. I guarantee if someone attacks you, they're going to rip that thing out of context and see, see, John Kragan's a sodomite, you know, but don't care. But basically, this is coming from a guy who would say, you know, I'll let you come on me. You know, I slept with everybody, my brother and all this other stuff. Yeah, he's a blatant hypocrite. And also the guy who made all this, who actually, who was mine, he could actually come up with some, I mean, you read some of these Facebook posts he made in this page impersonating Eric Love's business. I mean, just the fact that his mind was even able to come up with those those kind of posts shows that he's a pervert. Pankowski is. He's a wicked pervert. I wouldn't be surprised if he's a sodomite, quite frankly. I would not be surprised if, number one, he's just an atheist who's trying to use religion to uh, get money and con people sending him their money, but also that he could just be a sodomite because he displays some... I mean, he's probably the gayest person I've ever seen, Pankowski. I mean, he would fit into San Francisco so well. I mean, because he's he is the gayest person I've ever I've ever seen, but I guarantee you that his little followers are going to try to get this video flag for cyberbullying and all this other stuff. Funny for for guys who it's funny too. A little side note: funny how Pinkowski loves to complain about oh YouTube they're demonet they're, they're demonetizing us they're deleting our Facebook page they're censoring us. Meanwhile, they're going and trying to censor EJ and try to get his videos taken down and try to delete his videos while they're complaining about censorship. But then they do the same to EJ. Or try to do the same. Hmm. Uh, like James 1 8 says, a double minded man is unstable in all his ways. That's uh, James chapter 1, verse number 8. And Pinkowski is definitely double minded. But he says, the fact that this clown made a video discussing issues my daughter had years ago makes him a predator. No, it doesn't. Uh, and he's not a predator. And again, this is a total defamation of his character. And those who support what he is doing are predator enablers. He tried to accuse me of that in the comment section of the Instagram I showed the screenshots where he was like trying to accuse me of defending a child predator you know oh you're defending EJ Love he's a child predator you know ridiculous he, the guy is just a, a blatant accuser of the brethren just like his father Satan see Revelation 12 verse 10 uh, a woman whom my wife com confided in several years ago when my daughter had her her uh, breakdown shared what my wife was confiding in her about what in the world does anyone think that this is something any Christian would do um I don't, I didn't think it was a Christian act to make a fake Facebook page impersonating somebody and trying to portray them as a pervert. Hmm. I didn't think it was a Christian act to have your followers wish, I mean, maybe not you personally, but your followers wish death upon somebody. I didn't think it was a Christian act to just be the wicked devil that you are and to use your daughter's Facebook page to attack EJ. Doesn't seem like a very Christian act for you to do, but hey, you're the uh, best teacher. You're the best Bible teacher in America. You're head of America's leading street ministry. You know, the prideful devil that you are. In what, in what world does anyone think a Christian should be preying on people's children? He wasn't praying. I mean, ridiculous. 
Uh, there are some people who would say they are Christian who are absolutely vile and evil. Yeah, like you. You claim to be, you claim to be a Christian and you're totally vile. You're disgusting. You're wicked. You're, I'd say you're devil, you're devil possessed. I believe that 100% because your actions show that you are probably just, you're devil possessed. I just have to say that. That's what your actions show. But now this other screenshot, I already read that one. Uh, that was just a screen, another format of that other screenshot. Uh, this other third screenshot I also took says, the Bible talks about false teachers being irrational animals in a few places. Yeah, like Pinkowski. He's an irrational animal. He he does everything that he is. He basically just condemning himself here. I mean, you saw the way how he treated EJ, calling him a predator, making that fake Facebook page, trying to, I mean, the fact, again, the fact that his mind was able to come up with those filthy perverted posts on that fake Facebook page shows this guy's a, a wicked pervert. I, and I would not be surprised if he was a sodomite. Because again, he's the gayest person. He, like, Pinkowski is one of the gayest people I've ever seen. Like I said earlier, he would fit into San Francisco so well. He says, let me give you some more proof on how irrational and deranged some of these some of these fold are. Some of these fold are. I think he meant to say some of this fold, but um, apparently he didn't pass kindergarten, so I don't expect him to spell properly. You saw, me, you saw me post about the predator, Eric Love, maybe 10 times over the course of two days, and a majority of the posts were showing you screenshots of how obsessed this guy is with me by sharing shots of how many bodies or bodies he made of me. I think he meant to say videos, but uh, what do you expect from someone who types who is types like they're high on meth and probably didn't pass kindergarten? You know, how many bodies? Yeah, it's called videos. Um, might want to go back to kindergarten and learn how to write and read English, please. You might want to go ahead and do that because you cannot type anything properly. I mean, it's like most of your posts are just filled with all kinds of grammar errors. I mean, there are like elementary school kids that can actually write better than this. That don't have this many grammar errors and spelling errors. His pack are now claiming I'm obsessed with him. This guy has made hundreds of hours of videos about me. It wasn't hundreds of hours. I mean, again, a blatant lie. Just a little, just the other night, uh, did a four hour and 15 minute literally railing on me. Okay, most of it was actually him responding to some of your trolls in the comment section. He was going back and forth with some of the some of the trolls that are associated with your cult, Benkowski. That's why it was so long. You know, ridiculous. I mean, he he just he's leaving out some facts because it goes against his narrative. Just like the media, just like the, the left wing socially liberal media. He has more photos of me on his PC than his own wife. Proof on that. And his children have literally talked about me every day. And children and literally talked about me every day for two years, accusing me of sending someone to try to break into his house of his pack cult. Um, last time I checked, I don't think he's running a cult. And I'm not like, you know, some kind of cult. I mean, I live in a different country. I live over a thousand miles away. So, you know, because he, he tried to accuse me, sorry, my cat is meowing. He tried to, he wants attention. He was trying to accuse me of, you know, being like some kind of cult follower of EJ. Hey, I very, for a while, EJ and I were actually enemies. For a while, I would make videos of attacking him. It was only very recently that I realized, yeah, he's being hit pretty hard by this Pankowski devil. So I decided to rebuke. And it mostly started from Pankowski railing against his sister in Christ. So I decided to defend her and it kind of went on from that. But for a while, EJ and I were actually enemies. And, but we, we both can see the wickedness of this Pankowski, that Pankonski, I'll call him that. Claims I'm obsessed because, if he says that, uh, claims that I'm obsessed because I'm sick of this stalker. He literally watches every social media account that I have. Yeah, says the one who actually was, actually like was watching his channel for the live stream at the start. And he says, see, he's doing a live stream about me. You know, uh, EJ set a live stream for 1230 at night and Pankowski literally posts right as the live stream began. So who's really stalking who? Uh, he literally watches every account I have, my wife, and he, and now we know he watches my 17-year-old daughter. Yeah, because you use her Facebook account. It's kind of weird. Why would you use your daughter's Facebook account? That's kind of weird, but coming from you, I'm not, I would not be surprised because you've already said quite a lot of perverted stuff. He waits for my name to pop up somewhere, and within minutes, he's commenting about me, but I'm obsessed. Yeah, you are. You're an obsessed devil. His pack claims I'm obsessed because I made a few posts over the past couple of days, days, it was like 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 a few hours, like within it, like hours, you made like twelve to fifteen posts about him. It wasn't a few days; it was like a, it was like probably like six or seven hours. You made like fifteen posts about him. I think it was like 12, either 12, twelve, somewhere between twelve and fifteen posts. 
because I made a few, yeah, a few posts, sure. Uh, this is what you call a rational beast with reprobate minds. Um, he's condemning himself here. Again, I'll link the video of EJ showing the uh, Facebook page that Pankowski made impersonating his business. And I'll show you some of the screenshots that I actually have downloaded, which I've uploaded, of him just railing on people. Proving that he is the one that is the irrational beast. He is the one that is the false prophet. He's condemning himself, but he's too devil-possessed and stupid to realize it. He says, in this, this last screenshot, I got this text in, about an hour ago. Even kids can recognize what's wrong here. What a sad world we live in when kids can recognize the problem here and some adults can. The follow-up message I got was he looks like a pedo. It's, it's kind of stupid because, again, Pekoski's the guy who would say, I'll let you come on me right now, all the other wicked stuff. You know, just makes me wonder. I really do think Pankowski is just a sodomite and he's just projecting his feelings. I don't know why that sound keeps happening. And he's wicked posts. So anyway, the bottom line is that Mark can avoid Pankowski. He's a wicked devil and might be coming out with some more videos in the future about this devil, but he needs to be exposed and he needs to be reproved and his lies. And, and I pray the Lord Jesus Christ closes his lying mouth. And let me show you some scripture to back that up because that is a uh, scriptural concept to pray for somebody for somebody's mouth to be closed if they're basically like a lying devil who just goes around falsely accusing people of stuff they didn't do and slandering people and defaming people which is what Pankowski does okay let me go to that verse of scripture Psalms 31 18 let the lying lips be put to silence which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous perfectly describes Pankowski, proud and grievous against the righteous. Another good scripture that perfectly describes the, let me just full screen this thing, the obsessed devil, Rich Pankowski, is um, Psalms, and you say, why are you being so harsh? Because believe me, he's a wicked devil. I've seen screenshots, I've seen stuff that he's done, how he treats those who disagree with him. He is a wicked, wicked devil. Psalms 10 verse four to seven. This is this perfectly describes Pankowski. The wicked through his pride of his countenance will not seek after God. God is not in all his thoughts. Perfectly describes Rich. Uh, especially when he gets dry queen story hour story hour shut down and he just says, Look at me, I got this I got it shut down. I did, I did, you know, me, me, me. Never gives God the glory for the for getting that wicked perverted drag queen story hour shut down is all about look at me i got it shut down and he loves to always brag about that whenever someone criticizes him his followers will always say yeah well he got drag queen story hour shut down he's prideful he's boasting about his righteousness but god's not on all his thoughts he never gives god the glory it's always about, always but look what i then look at me kind of like satan in isaiah chapter 14 verses 12 through 15 you know i'll ascend into heaven i'll be like the most high exact same mentality as satan pride all the way through Verse five, his ways are always grievous. Thy judgment are far, abo far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. Exactly, anyone who criticizes Pankowski, he just gets really mad and gets really prideful at them too. And loves to boast, look what I've done. I did. I can read Greek and Hebrew. I can do this. Me, 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 me. Pride all the way through. Verse six, he has said in his heart, I shall not be moved for I shall never be in, adver in adversity. Look at verse uh, 7. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. Perfectly describes the railing false accuser and cult leader, Pankowski. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit. You know, he'll just rip on you and rail on you if you have any disagreements with him. Uh, his tongue is full of is, uh, mischief and vanity. Yeah, he's very deceptive too. Using fake Facebook pages, using anonymous uh, YouTube accounts, create, using your daughter's Facebook page and then claiming, oh, he's stalking my daughter full of mischief and vanity, all that wicked stuff. So just wanted to show you guys that. Perfectly describes Pankowski, those, those, those scriptures. So yeah, Mark and avoid Pankowski. He's a wicked devil and he is a servant of his father, Satan. He is a liar, just like his father, Satan. See John 8, 44. And I, you know, I pray he repents, but if he doesn't, then I guess he'll, he'll just have to go through the time of Jacob's trouble and learn the hard way. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.